Hi people, welcome to my introduction to Star Trek Online. I'm Shagrot, I will be your host today. And uh, I just finished recording the previous episode, the time going ahead with the next one. Uh, this time we're going to uh, give a go to Kitomera Court Space Normal Difficulty. You will see this map is not really complex, none of them are, but can be a little hard to move around in them. In Kitomera Court, you, uh, we will see uh, parts of the previous two maps I showed you, both for Cure Space and Infected Space. Uh, we can fail and we, uh, we need to work in the court and again somebody needs to stay in the middle. You see the map in here, there are some useless clues around, a tactical cube in the middle, and a really big uh, something rotating in there. That there is, by the way, a temporal gate, not an inversion time, thank you. <coughs> and you can see there are two warp gates around. That, by the way, is not a good news. Uh, this time, however, there are not pro uh, no... Oh dear, this one's taking quite a bonding. Uh, there's no kind of... Uh, uh, there are no nanites that will try to reach and help the repair efforts in, in there, in the transformers. But instead, there, uh, we will see that there are uh, probes that uh, will try to reach that middle position in there and, well, work to the past and change his history. Borg uh, tend to like to do that. Well, it's, I must concede that it's a fairly simple solution to your problems. If you can't beat the Federation now, why don't uh, you go back in time to where you could. I mean, I, do, I totally do that if I could. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, bo from both uh, war uh, transwarp gates we will get uh, probes sp uh, spawning and trying to reach the, the temporal vortex to well, travel to the past. And of course, our objective there will be to prevent them from doing so. You can see the only enemy we have upon spawning here is this tactical cube. By the way, I believe this is going to be a little nightmarish because uh, we took a lot of time to beat the cube, and that is not a good idea. Well, as long as we, uh, as soon as we destroyed, okay, I suppose the. Kate Gea will take care of those pros for us and we need to take care of these two here. As I was telling you, as long as we uh, as soon as we finish the the cube to prove spa uh, spawn from the warp gate, which just uh, turned from invulnerable state to a vulnerable one or active one. And we uh, there's uh, there's a fail condition. If 10 of these pros manage to cross the gate, we fail the mission and we'll get nothing for all our efforts. Next uh, detail you need to know is after blowing two nanite generators two spheres will appear. So while it is encouraged for the guy waiting there to start blowing up generators it is important to time it so he won't be caught with uh, two spheres and, <coughs> I don't know, two pros or even four pros. As I said, it's important. Not, uh, well, it won't mean any kind of failure. Oh dear, why is she here? That is something you don't should be doing. Please don't do that. If you are in a team, that will give the f a fit to your teammates.
Ah, uh, no, it was Kent. Sorry. No, oh, she's there. Okay, she's uh, fast going to the other side. Good. <coughs> hmm. Anyway, now we are going to <coughs> to blow one of the transformers. That will again change the circumstances of the map. You, uh, I call that a uh, flag. <coughs> a flag, as in the American flag, uh, the Spanish flag, whatever. Anyway, as long as as soon as we destroy the transformers, uh, you can see a probe spawn. Now, instead of waves of two probes, we are going to get waves of three probes. And we need, of course, to destroy them. Again, we need to take down the generators. And as, as soon as we destroy two of them, two Borg spheres will appear. Yeah, see? If only the lottery were that predictable. Anyway, maximizing damage output, mm, trying to kill the spheres. They try to assimilate me, and I have plasma burns? No. I should be rotating, however, not uh, eleva gaining elevation. Uh, where's my Nike? My Aquarius Escort? She might have been, uh, got caught behind ODR. I don't. That's the reason I don't really like the OZR. No, I need to reach there. <coughs> okay, safe. Oof, that was close. Uh, no matter what uh, kind of ship you're flying, <coughs> unless you are helping some heavy tanking, you should leave whatever you're doing and try to stop the probes to reach the gate if, well, it's needed. It will hurt you. It will hurt your damage per second, but it's better than losing the entire optional obje uh, objective. I really like when my ship is flying both bro uh, firing both uh, broadsides. <sighs> Again, we need to go there. So now that we blow another transformer, now we are talking about uh, four probes waves instead of two or three, which is never funny. It's harder. And means more work. Hey Nine, how are you? You need some healing. <coughs> healing teammates, if you don't need to heal yourself like I do, it's uh, a good idea, not only because you help overall DPS, but because that way everybody is happy and more important, you get more points to get uh, the best loot from the final outcome of the battle. Okay, so now we are f you can see that uh, Kate Gia, she's flying a fleet escort ship. It's the, it's the one that they give, give you for free at level 40. And she's sporting some cannons. Cannons have 45%... Uh, well... Degrees of uh, target. I should move out of here before uh, they start. They explode on me. I, they almost did it. And uh, you should know that uh, when we blow this door with this gateway, we are going to find another problem. It will change. It will raise another flag and change uh, the game conditions again. The next condition that will change is that uh, by destroying the warp gate, we'll get uh, spheres, Borg spheres, with the uh, with each wave.
you can see the gate well it likes to attack you every now and then it's not really that powerful at least uh, this time and there we go I am moving now uh, to the other side because regardless of what we do well it's needed to destroy all this and so now the gate has been destroyed I am turned already remember cruisers are slow and can reach the other warp gate a little a little faster that way you can see we now have uh, maybe three probes and the two spheres by the way those are in addition to the four probes of uh, normal of normal well spawn right now we have four probes two spheres and uh, somebody just ah dear me ready for race for impact that was because somebody used a, a Titan's right rift which uh, took everything close uh, when I was right in the middle <laughs> so when they exploded it, I was caught in the center of the explosion not a, a good idea to generate uh, aggro from the from the warp gate okay give me more shielding let's activate my working bees let's try to destroy the last generator and let's heal ourselves a little more yes and you can see as you can see I have a lot of healings in my ship and as you can see <laughs> well my Aquarius escort has been destroyed so I could I suppose it has been destroyed so I can recall it and people is again ignoring the probes we have five minutes to destroy the gates <coughs> uh, without allowing, allowing any probe to cross to the other side and by the way you can see besides of having a lot of item of uh, enemy ships for showing up <sighs> this is a little exhausting we have all this stuff to worry about one of the good things about uh, this beam spam is that uh, I am marking all the targets I hit with a debuff of minus 10 or something minus 29 to all damage resistance and, a, and also a penalty to stealth which is not really that useful right now but so oh well it can always be relevant hello are you letting that one escape well I am not really going to turn for that okay better uh, so there we go again more spheres this can become tedious but uh, rather quickly you know <coughs> two spheres and uh, now we can attack freely also the transformer which is good because my fire at will is doing just that so what else do I have in here nothing really interesting oh dear they are draining my myself well let's throw a little fit and say hey my ship won't go down like that thank you very much and why am I attacking the that place so more thank you inversion of shells thank you more protection thank you you won't be draining me thank you more protection thank you okay that is it that uh, made it you can see I recover rather quickly that's the good part of being a uh, flying a cruiser <coughs> 
So when you're playing Warhammer 40,000 and you hear the orcs saying the Crusoe is the best, you, you now know the reason. You are the player's version of a boss fight. No matter what they do to you, you can keep throwing up regenerations and damage reductions and the like all the time. Anyway, we now need to destroy the warp gate, keep the probes to get out. I'm going to cross some place I don't want to. So let's race for impact just in case. Not really a problem since uh, nothing here will throw torpedoes away and even if it does they do plasma damage so I am fairly protected. And let's fire at will against probes and everything that comes nearby us. Yes, I am in range, in range of the transwarp gate. So this is it uh, for now. The sh we have uh, um, a little more than 90 seconds to finish the warp gate and we need to avoid anything to cross that means we need to keep firing on probes all the time no room for error here perfect oh last last wave made it Well, time to kill them and proceed. Uh, the good time, the good thing about destroying first probes is that you can then focus on everything out there without worrying about the mission becoming a failure, which is always ni nice. You can see we have already um, a spawning there, and the system has uh, updated itself to defeat Donatra's scimitar. Uh, Donatra was a former predator of the Romulan Empire that uh, seems to have been assimilated by the Borg. In fact, she was, according to the game's lore, the last uh, predator of the Romulan Empire. No one, no one has been appointed since her disappearance. Suppose eventually the, the Romulans will move, move on. You can see Donatra's ship will spawn staff <coughs> we need to to destroy and uh, as all scimitar class cruisers will uh, try to fire from uh, its front. Also it has a uh, battle cloak Mm, Borshell neutralizer that doesn't bode well. <coughs> so I, we are here, and we need to disperse because when Donatras spawn again, if we manage to get her uh, somewhere, yes, there it is. You can see she's trying to point not to me. I hope. She doesn't usually do that. She usually spawns trying to to well destroy us di directly. In fact, I am going to separate from the saucer because it will give me an edge in this battle. Yeah, see this green cone there? you need uh, by all means to avoid be, uh, to be hit by that because that will cause massive damage once it's fired fortunately it takes a while to load <coughs> that is uh, well a cruiser can survive that uh, with my dreadnought I was caught once or twice in the in the in the attack and I survived with almost uh, half my hull intact but that's uh, another gold box 
That's because uh, I tend to fly really tough ships. Any other ships need to capitalize on their mobility to avoid being hit by the system. <sighs> she has disappeared. And there it is again, trying to, pi to pick the, that cruiser. The good thing is that the closer you are, the easier it is to get outside of the cone. And, uh, well, you need to save your evasive maneuvers for that. Not really a problem right now, I mean... She'll, she's mostly finished right now. And I should be recalling my saucer. Yes, see? She's destroyed. Oh! And see, uh, 25 time I've killed Donatra's scimitar. Isn't it pervy? It got immortalized in YouTube, haha. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, this is a Kitomer record in normal difficulty. And uh, it requires, again, little things to consider. Yes, one of you must remain covering the temporal gate, while the rest of you proceed as if it were infected space. You need to dish out a good enough amount of damage per second, so you destroy both gates before 15 minutes, and to avoid all po uh, probes to cross. And that's it, really. Simple, easy, <coughs> and fast. The ground versions are a little harder, and I won't be making any videos on them soon, because, uh, frankly, I'm still farming my ships, and I need 20 per item, for the um, crafting of my ground gear against the Borg. <coughs> uh, finally, <coughs> I'd like to, to, to talk about uh, another event, if it's, yes, the Differa Invasion Zone. This uh, event uh, takes two hours, it's on two hours, and it gets uh, shown about uh, two times uh, every six days or something like that. And it consists mainly on going to the Fera Prime. If we open the map, Galaxy Map, we see it's in here, Aurelus Block, the Ferry Sector, essentially north of the Badlands, which are near Deep Space Nine. And uh, it consists on killing Borg, accumulating items, and doing some quests that will give you experience and money. If we access my bank, we can see that I have here nanopower capacitors, cybernetic armatures, and fibro neural interface cabling. You need about 50 of each or so to make a version of this frequency remodulator that instead of taking 4 seconds takes 3 ODR. It's worth the effort, well, for elite uh, Borg Grounds missions you need both that and the um, frequency remodulator. Unless you want to graph a, a sword, a Lirpa or a Batleaf and engage in melee with the Borg, which is not advisable, not in the least. Oh! See, this is an event that happens sometimes. Once you've cleared one rank in... Uh, where is it? In any of these categories. In this case, I just beat rank 1. You can see, 15,836 out of 15,000. Lieutenant Farah will hail you from Earth Space Dock. Will say you, hey, you're now a doctor. This is a uh, title, by the way. And you will earn some points. And uh, you will get access to his store. Mm, let me see. See, Colonial, I can buy uh, officers of the Colonial kind. And you can see they have uh, powers and the like. Mm. But they are green quality, not a purple one. Oh well. 
uh, development, I can't buy it with lithium. Engineering, okay, I can't buy. What I can buy? One green one. Yeah, one basic green one. What is this? A spiritual. Oh, oh, of course, this is a Vulcan. Logical, telepathic, spiritual, founders of the Federation. Hey, an additional support drone. I usually go with two, so come here. You're more than likely going to be on active duty, my dear. Nothing here I can buy. Nothing here I can buy. Medical. I got the basic commendation. Mm. I don't really know if this works with... Oh! Combat Supply. Huh. And it's, uh, he's a Quartermaster. That's always good. Essentially, you need to balance these uh, traits they have. This one is congenial, if I'm... Yes. Efficient, eidetic memory, teamwork. This is really good. And he's a doctor. I, I would prefer to get a Quartermaster, but he is uh, cunning, eidetic memory, stubborn and unscrupulous. Well, he's also a good one. But the doctor is also exceedingly useful. This is a tough decision, but I can always try to get more later. So I'll go with the doctor. In military, I don't have anything, but since I have this in here, I believe, yes, I can uh, ask for the lithium cost. In the recruitment, again, advisors. Whoa, very rare. <laughs> Science, nothing, and in trade, nothing again. Okay. You can also get uh, duty officers that are liberated, liberated Borg drones, uh, or liberated uh, drones, uh, liberated officers, sorry. Uh, liberated Borg of, uh, duty officers, oh, sorry, I just got messed up in the head right now. Uh, but uh, I will talk about them with, about uh, in the next video with the rewards and Deep Space Nine. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.